morning vlog. It is 8 a.m. We're about to head out the door. We're going to Pilates. We're meeting up with Murph, Alicia, Ash, and Parker. Welcome to the vlog. I'll do a little outfit of the day for you. Here we go. Don't mind Luna licking the remnants of her food bowl back there. Here is the Pilates look. I'm wearing this Lululemon Align tank. These Lululemon just leggings. And then I got my purse on because I need to run out the door. Look how cute these new Pilates socks are that I got sent to me by Ollie Rose. Shout out. They're so cute. They say happy days only. Sorry, it's hard for me to show while I'm wearing them. There you go. So cute. All right, I got my water. I got my favorite Alani new flavor of the moment. This is Cherry Twist. Just so delicious. Let's head out, shall we? We shall. We just finished. Oh, right. Here. Thank you. Hello all, we're back from Pilates. My legs already hurt. We just did a little Coachella meeting with Parker because I have a very special look planned. I'll give you a little hint. It's for Saturday and it has to do with a very exciting performance that I'm gonna see. Now, moving on to this beautiful gift that Wit just gave me for my birthday. <laughs> Everyone's staring at me as I open it up. <laughs> Thank you, Wit. You're welcome, my love. Okay. Cutest cup I've ever seen. Handmade. I've never seen a cup like that. It's so, so cool. cute. I'm gonna put my soup in here and my coffee thing. You're welcome. Nice ceramics. Nice ceramics. This is adorable. Thanks, Gwen. You're welcome. Happy I birthday. Love her. Hello, guys. Okay, it is later. It is 4:29 p.m. I just wrapped up the work day. We got tons of short form filming done, and now I just came upstairs. I am tired today, though. <gasps> Oh, man, I'm sleepy. Mama just ran in and then Daisy ran in. Looney! Let's get Luna to run in. Then we can get all of them in here. Here you are, come here, I was calling for you. Ow! Okay, I need to wake up because Cal and I are about to head out to go see Dune 2 in theaters right now, which I'm already tired and it's gonna be a really long movie. I think after previews and everything, it's probably gonna be at least like three hours and 15, maybe even 3.30, which I'm so tired. I love you so much, Miss Lou. I need to crack open like an energy drink or something and I came upstairs to change my sweatshirt into something more comfy. We got a grape Celsius. Just a little bit of this. Did you say you needed me for something? Yeah, I want you to tell them how excited you are to see Dune for the third time. Was, Dune 2 for the third time in theaters. I was listening to the soundtrack in the car today and I was just getting so pumped. <laughs> it's your third time he's going tonight. Tonight was originally a date night for Cal and I, but who else is coming, Cal? We're getting invaded by the McDonald's. I think actually it's just Alicia. Oh, I thought Ashton was coming too. I think Ash and Jackson couldn't come because they couldn't find tickets. Oh, Because yeah. it was too full. So it is just cool. Alicia, Cal, and I, which yep. honestly, I love. <laughs> Alicia on the pod yesterday, she was like, I would love to crash your honeymoon. I wouldn't. <laughs> she was like, but I know you'd be fine with it, and I know Cal would be like, okay. get her to be. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. I promise, Fine. I know boundaries. All I know is that this is gonna be the longest movie ever, and while I'm excited to see it, I might fall asleep. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. It's oh. too good. Uh, all I know is Austin Butler's in this, and did you know he's from my hometown, Kel? I did know that. Thank you so much. I got my sweatshirt on. I'm gonna put on a more comfortable headband so that I can relax when I sleep at the movies. Let's go. What'd you say? I'm really hungry. I have some of the croissant cookie. Are you gonna stick something? Are you gonna get a dune popcorn bucket and stick something in it? Out my butt. Oh my what god. What do you mean stick something in it? The dune popcorn bucket. Yeah, no. Yeah, that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things today, we made a croissant cookie. So good. So good, right, Cal? So good. Okay, number one, number two, number three, you all be so well behaved. And I love you all so much. Oh, you good girl? Okay. Love you. I just realized we're going to the theater and I didn't even pack my snacks. I got my tote bag. Do you want me to ooh, smuggle in some candy for you, my friend? We got the candy drawer. Oh my gosh, we got so many good candies, you guys. I'll bring these for Alicia. She'll be so happy. Can I do peanut M&Ms? You can do whatever you want. It's our yeah, house. Yeah, let's go. What is, oh, I wonder, what do you think is better? Goobers or Raisinets? Oh, those are two different things. These are peanuts. Yeah, my bad. Oh, wow. I'm going to do, ooh, sour belt. I don't know what got over me. I am now such a sour candy girl. And then we need salty. I'm not really a popcorn girl as much. I'm getting popcorn. I mean, you should get whatever you want. I imagine you and Alicia might be a bit late. <gasps> 
Did you hear that, Alicia? What the hell? <laughs> what are we doing? We are making our snack bag. <sighs> but what are you gonna do? What'd you bring? Shut the fuck up. Remy! <laughs> Nothing crazy. <laughs> I remember being like, damn, well, I remember, ew. I'm you wanted milk and not dark? No! <laughs> I, I was thinking, fuck, I should have like told Remy she should bring snacks. Oh. She has all her snacks. Don't you worry, she's covered. I bought a whole like 20 pack of dark raisinets because I could have sworn she said, thank you so much. She said dark for so long. And then Attack randomly she's like, I love milk. And I was like, but there's 20 in the drawer for you. Technically, I like dark chocolate better than milk chocolate. Mm. But when it comes to raisinets, raisinets the milk, they melt in your mouth. That's I understand. Perfect. I understand. We're also officially, by the time you guys are watching this vlog, the new podcast announcement has already come out. But yeah. right now when we're filming this, it's coming out tomorrow. We came a little bit early so that we could film intros to our announcement vlogs together. So so, and Cal's also building us the baby gate to the studio. Oh my god, wait, it looks so much better. What do you think of our great job, babe? Yeah. Is it wait, done? It's so quick. It's not done. Okay. Oh. What do you think of our studio, baby? It looks incredible. You gotta see with the lights on too. Yeah. We'll turn it on in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get Can't your reaction. Wait. Can I help here? Let me. Okay. Hello, vlog. Okay, we just did a little intro clips. It is 5:49. We gotta head out the door, my friends. Let's go to the movies. Are you so excited, Cal? Um, I'm jazzed. I'm I psyched. You're jazzed. Yes. I asked Ash, I was like, if I have to pee, when should I? Was a good time to go? She said, never. <laughs> I would say never. Okay, yeah. but I was like, how <laughs> will know the exact like frame rate? He'll be like, two hours and 15 minutes in. True. So like really think about it. Like never, but there has to be a time that's a little bit better. It's really hard. He's like the end credits. I'm gonna be like. Yeah, the end credits. <laughs> My besties. Ah, Cal, come on. Huh? Bestie. Bessie! Bessie! We've made it to the movie theater, and I think we're early, so we might walk around. Hopefully there's time in the cards for a donut. Fun fact, this is where I had my 12th grade grad party at the Universal City Walk, and they were like, go. Oh, just this, not Universal? Enjoy. No, simply just City Walk. They were like, go. It must have been a last minute like plan. Like there was indoor skydiving and a chain, like a, not a psychic, but they like, you know, change your mind. They make you like do crazy <laughs> things. Hypnotist. Hypnotist, that's yeah. what it is. Change your mind, lol. Yes, I got the go-ahead yeah. for the donuts. We're just perusing. Looking at my options. Do they have donut holes? That is the question. I don't see donut holes. <gasps> oh my god, they, yeah, I love an apple fritter. Hey guys, okay, movie theater snack haul. I got myself these sliders. Actually, Cal got me these sliders. They look fine. I kind of regret my choice and I kind of wish I got nachos instead. And then Alicia bought me Airhead Soft Filled Bites a drumstick ice cream cone in a water bottle. I went a little crazy. I really think I want nachos over these sliders. Get them. I might go do that. Be back. We're here. Starts. Alicia's right there. I got my nachos. Cal's gonna eat the sliders. <laughs> Guys, we just got home. Tommy's FaceTiming us from the Justin Timberlake concert. I think that's in sync. It's quite blurry. And I can't hear. Hi guys, updates. Okay, loved the movie. It was incredible. I potentially. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I potentially might be open to seeing it again. All right. I already reserved a ticket. I know you did. It was incredible and went by so fast. I just watched the first Dune with Cal like a few nights ago. That one was amazing as well, but it definitely just felt long. This one went by so fast. We did get invited to the Justin Timberlake private concert tonight. We did not go because I am not a fan of Justin Timberlake because team Britney, but apparently he brought out what, what I can only assume is the rest of NSYNC out tonight, according to that FaceTime that I just received. If you guys listen to the pod, then you would know. Alicia and I were just talking about how much we do not support Justin Timberlake and the next day, wow, I'm really going, going off right now on him. Hopefully him and Jessica don't watch the vlogs. Oh, thank you, my love. I forgot to put my ring back on after I made that croissant cookie today. The next day, we got invited to said private concert. So obviously we did not go, but you know what else came on tonight while we were at the movies? The Love is Blind reunion. I'm so excited. Cal and I have been keeping up with Love is Blind every single week. Tonight is a reunion and then the season's over. I also really need to catch up on Vanderpump Rules and The Bachelor. I know the finale's in a couple weeks. I've been keeping up here and there, but I haven't sat down and watched everything. So I'm gonna do that. I often like to binge a series like when it's almost close to the end so that I can keep up with like the, you know, finales. But I don't 
have to wait all the time for all the episodes because I'm impatient. But yes, we are going to go uh, have some snacks and watch the reunion and I will see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow's a very exciting day. We are announcing the new pod, so that'll be fun and I will bring you guys along with me then. Okay, love you, bye. Hello guys, it's the next morning. We just officially announced the new podcast. It's out in the world. So excited. I'm currently getting the YouTube channel set up and then I need to edit the vlog that's gonna go up very soon after. Ah, I finally don't have to keep the secret anymore. Woo! Oh my God, I am so sore, beyond sore from Pilates. Oh my God. So excited, so, so, so excited. I am about to do some more work. Okay, goodbye. Updates, I'm back. I'm getting my workflow done. I got the vlog up. I got some other little editing stuff I had to get done. I just ordered some lunch. I ordered from this place called a carving board and I got a sandwich. I got chips on the side. Mm. They make their chips in-house, they're so good. It's already one o'clock and I haven't had caffeine yet today. So I'm just gonna have a little baby Alani new. And then for my sandwich, I got something called a California smash. I don't know if there's like a sauce on it, like a basil pesto sounds delicious. I don't know if that's on here, but let's give her a try. Very standard. Mm -hmm. It also came with cheese, but I took that off and sunflower seeds. I also took that off. I'm gonna take a little lunch break and then I've got therapy in 30 minutes and then I've got more work that I have to get done, but I will see you guys along the way. Hello everybody, it is the next day. I just made this beautiful looking meal. Are you looking at this? Do you see this? I did the viral Samyang carbonara noodles with uh, mozzarella cheese, some eggs, and then I threw in some pork belly and caramelized onions to take it to the next level. I did my first ASMR TikTok. And let me just say, it was so hard for me to not speak. <laughs> but it went very well. Here they are. I just ate a little bit. I am about to go leave the house to record the pod though. Now I've got two pods. So I guess I should refer to pod one as pretty basic and pod two as pretty unfiltered. Regardless, I want to eat a lot, but I was like, uh, my stomach might start hurting in the middle of the pod. So I'll just have a little bit for a little light lunch before I go. Mmm, come try, babe. Cal's never had this, and your mind's gonna be blown. I mean, it's cheese, pork, and noodles. <laughs> your three favorite food groups. Oh my god. It's so <laughs> oh my god. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Each bite, I'm just like, wow. That was a genuine reaction. <laughs> that was so good, right? Mm -hmm. I'll make you a bowl for lunch. Thank you. You're welcome. You're the best. Uh, you want some egg? <clears throat> Isn't there egg already on it? Yeah, like, do you want an egg? Oh, yeah. I think one meant more egg. I mean, never too much egg. Look at this pole, you guys. Oh my god. If you want to see how to make it, watch my TikTok. Please. You guys, also I got Dippin' Dots PR today. What? I cannot believe it. I didn't know Dippin' Dots knows that I exist. I'm so excited. They sent me their new flavor, which was like a sugar cookie, which you know I love a sugar cookie. Sugar cookie with chocolate chips and cookie dough. I'm gonna have a little more, cause it's so good. I just don't want my stomach to start hurting in the middle of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> all the cheese and all the noodles. I'll save the rest. Oh my God, Luna is like dying to have some. Please look at her right now. They're like, hey, wanna drop a little bit? Just a little bit, just a little bite? Mm, okay, I'm gonna eat. I'll talk to you in a second. Okay guys, I wanna give you a little outfit of the day for the pod. We have on this black top that's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's so comfy and stretchy and amazing. I'm wearing a Skims bra underneath. I'm wearing my local European camo jogger pants that I love. And then this hat I actually got in Vlogmas. It says his lucky charm and it's from Bra and Rebellious. I was having kind of a bad hair day because I've worn a headband for the past couple days. You know when your hairline just isn't doing what it should at the time. Top. So hat day it is. Thank you so much, my love. Mm -hmm. Skylar just sent me a new hair and body mist. This one is in the scent Boardwalk Delight. It's one of my favorite scents from them. And I love a body mist or a hair mist also, especially after cooking something like I just did where there's a lot of smells, onion. Oh my God, it smells so good. Pork belly, all the things. It just kind of refreshes me. So I'm actually gonna take this with me because I'm going to dinner tonight at a Korean restaurant that's gonna be lots of smells going on. So this is going in the bag. I also have the macarons pack that I got for Zane after uh, we went to the source last week. We're first going to the unfiltered set to go do a little promo there for the new pod. And then we're going to our actual real set and recording an episode. And I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be so fun. Also, before I go, look what just arrived. We are throwing a little bridal shower situation for Lauren tomorrow. It's a surprise bridal shower. I have a cake already in the fridge waiting for her. And then I got these gorgeous flowers that are so beautiful. And then we got her a super nice gift and we're just gonna celebrate her tomorrow morning. Cannot wait, but these, you must stay alive till tomorrow. Do you hear me? 
Stay alive and look fresh till tomorrow. Hello guys, I'm so sorry, I forgot to vlog. We went to the unfiltered set, did that little intro, and then now we're at Alicia's house because we're gonna film the episode, episode two of the new pod. But we need some sustenance before and Alicia and I have been obsessed with this steamed shrimp and vegetable situation. That, that Zane did recommend. <laughs> It's so good. He was on his health grind and got this one night. I ate some of it. I became obsessed with it. It's literally just steamed vegetables and shrimp, but there's just something. No, I swear it's about like it. steamed with some garlic sauce. I think there's a lot of garlic. There's just something about it that's so good. And we share the garlic sauce that it comes with. Mm. Can I have a bite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you tried the garlic sauce? No, I keep it clean, babe. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, we just left the pod recording. I feel like I have to be quiet. It feels like it's quiet outside right now. The pod was so much fun. We talked all about dating and Heath and I went through Zane and Alicia's Hinge profiles and just, it was such a good time. Now I just drove over to K-Town and I'm getting dinner with some friends, Jesse, Chris, my friend Serena, and Ollie's coming. We're getting KBBQ, which I'm very excited about. I also found street parking on a Friday night in K-Town, which is like unheard of. So things are looking good. Things are feeling good. I love it, I had so much fun, and let's go get some dinner. We've made it to dinner, look who's here. Hello everybody. We're having KBBQ. Here again for K barbecue. Yeah, second time in a week. This is, this is getting to be a problem. <laughs> I love it. Hello everybody, we are back home. It is now, what time is it? 11.27 p.m. I've been home for like the past hour. Sorry, Daisy, I threw the phone on the bench. She's like, hello. I've been home for maybe like the past hour or so and I just got so much work stuff done. I scheduled new vlogs. I had four vlogs that needed to get scheduled out. I am up to date on vlogs. I have the one from like two days ago already edited and ready to go. Super happy about that. Let me get some light on in here. I feel like it's pretty dark. Oh, she's not plugged in. Okay, let me just, ooh. Go behind here. There we go. So much better. Man, I look crazy. Oh, I just realized I left my lashes in the car. I need to take a shower. Side note, the new artwork arrived. One of them is a little crooked. We need to fix that. I don't know how that happened, but it's crooked. If you guys missed it though, I completely redid this bedroom and I just wanted to say I was working in the office and when I stepped into the bedroom after a long day, I was just hit with this like calmness and serenity and I'm so happy that I redid this room because I feel like this is just like my sanctuary. It looks so beautiful in here. I love it so much. And yes, the new artwork arrived and they made sure to really secure it. I got this artwork maybe like a month and a half ago or so. And the first time that it arrived, it was fully broken and damaged and all the things. So I reached out to the company and they were nice enough to send me new ones. This is like hand painted art from an individual artist. So they had to redo the whole thing. I felt so badly, but they were like ripped and the frame was broken and they're like the actual canvas was ripped. So they repainted them for me. And then when they arrived, they came three times as heavy duty wrapped as they did the first time. It literally came in like a wooden crate that was nailed shut. We had to buy a crowbar just to get it open. But you know, they look great and they came completely undamaged, which is obviously amazing. I'm with my girly who always follows me around. Hello, hello cutie. And yes, okay, I need to shower now because I smell like Korean barbecue and I need to wash my hair again because it smells like Korean barbecue. But I don't want to go to bed with wet hair because tomorrow I need to style it for Lauren's surprise bridal shower and then also we're celebrating Chesco's birthday all day. So I don't want to have crazy looking hair, but I'm also really tired and I don't know if I have it in me to do like a full blowout right now. So I don't quite know what to do. Oh my gosh, she is rubbing up on that rug. Hey girl, hi cutie, what are you doing? You're the cutest pups ever. Oh, you want to go see your sisters? Okay. I love you. Okay, yes, also I've been wanting to try on a dress for Lauren's wedding. Okay, welcome to the closet. I need to pick an outfit for tomorrow for the bridal shower and then also I need to pick something to wear to the wedding. I want to get that sorted so that I am fully prepped. Okay, for the bridal shower we're wearing color and I think this could actually be really cute. It is gonna be quite chilly so I am going to have to wear like a jacket or like a cardigan with this but this is cute a really cute option this is from lovers and friends from revolve oh you know it could be cute maybe like this with some boots 
like these heeled boots and then maybe like a, a black. Oh, a trench could be cute because it is going to be quite cold. Okay, potentially a trench, potentially a cardigan. Let's try this on and see. And then for the wedding, for the wedding, I have a few options, but the theme is color. And then also it's uh, it's not black tie, but it's definitely like formal attire. I think this could be really pretty. I have this like blue skirt with like a matching crystal bodice. That could be very cute. So let me try all this on and I will keep you posted. I feel like actually I should wait until I don't smell like Korean barbecue, but all is well. Let's try it on. Okay, here is the look that I was potentially going to wear to the wedding. I think it's stunning, but it's definitely ill-fitting. The top and the skirt are both a little too big. So I think I can get them tailored to just like snatch me a little more, but I do think it's very pretty. I love the sparkles. I love the like gray blue color. Potentially if I can get them tailored, this is a potential option for the wedding. Now for the bridal shower. Okay, here's the potential look for tomorrow. While it's so cute, I love this dress. It has zero stretch in it. So everything fits except for right here, having a little trouble breathing. Everything's a little tight. But look at this like curvature that it gives that I don't actually have. It's so cute. I just don't think I'll be comfortable because again, nothing is moving right here. It's just like fully compressed, but it's so cute. I really like it. I'll see how I feel in the morning about this, but it's now 11.50 p.m. and I still need to go wash my hair and blow dry it. So I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it though. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.